Yeah, so, um, listen, uh, we're going to try something different. We're going to move uh, some of the stuff over to the next channel uh, and things like that. And uh, so we'll keep the, the, we'll still do the challenge, yeah, you know, with the move happening, you know, but I give them a little bit something. Um, oh, oh, shit. Oh, yo, Hurricane, check it out. I, I got to go, bro. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, don't be out there killing too many uh, wild animals on your retreat, all right? Just chill. I gotta go, yo, hurricane, I gotta go, um, it's recording, I gotta go, okay, yo, check it, yo, what's up, dudes, uh, I'm Vernon Kidder, coming to you again, how's everybody doing on their end, um, so, I was just on the phone with the, my other, um, hurricane, um, and, uh, well, let's be honest, guys, um, we're gonna move some of the stuff, uh, once again, move some of the FB vids. Uh, I know some of you guys have been looking for those. Uh, Hurricane is on a little retreat because of the move is happening, you guys. So, um, uh, But in the meantime, I told him I moved some of the stuff. So we're going to continue the 2000 stuff over here on this channel of uh, FE. So uh, you won't see any more 2000 stuff in terms of FE on this channel. I told Jenny that too and everything like that. But yeah, um, Hurricane uh, says uh, hello to everybody out there. What's up? Um, and he said also go fuck yourselves. No, I'm, no, I'm, he. I didn't mean to say that. I I shouldn't have said that. But he he was a little pissed at something. I don't know what it is. He's doing something in the Black Forest again. He he's crazy to be out there. Anyway, um, so we're gonna continue where um, you know where I left off on the main channel. So. Do kids know 2000 musics? Um, this is going to be the 11th time they're doing this. You want to see the from 1 to 10, you go to the main channel. Um, so we're going to continue here as always, guys. Um, so, yeah, guys, I've been saving these things for you. But uh, we're we, we not going to try. We're going to try not to get angry if they mess up. Uh, we're going to try. But uh, let's do this. Like I said, just glad y'all should be thankful Hurricane out here. Uh, I think y'all should be. It may not be too good. Cause, uh, anyway, let's, let's do this. Here we go. This song was like Girl. such a bop, but also <laughs> such a parody. We're going to see how well you know some music from the 2000s. I'm expecting myself to not know any. I'll be lucky if I know one. If it's Radio Disney, I don't get it. But if it's anything else, I will probably not. Music I was listening to in the 2000s was like whatever the bus driver would play <laughs> on the bus ride to school. I think I can do this. Okay. I started okay, listening Noah, to the 2000s I, stuff. So I have, I have faith. You know her, okay, Tori, and, and the homie Eric are music. together? And lately, too, like I've said, had like a 2000s music playlist for like my car rides and stuff. Homegirl so I Tori, feel like... I have a good All right, 2006. Here. here we go. I hope she's doing good. Uh, this is Nels Barkley. What? Off the bat, I already know who the artist is. He has a really distinct voice. I'm waiting for it. Oh my god, I love this song so much. God, it's CeeLo Brown, but together with it's called. This used to be one of my favorite songs when I was like five. I remember hearing this song at the mall and just start dancing in the middle of Bath and Body Works. Do you know it? It's crazy, but I don't know the artist. Crazy by CeeLo Green. Crazy by CeeLo Green. It is Crazy by Gnarls Barkley. Crazy by Gnarls Barkley. This is Crazy by Gnarls Barkley. Oh. There it right. is. A duo group featuring CeeLo Green and Danger Mouse. Okay, because it's like if you were to say like Destiny's Child but said Beyonce instead, like it's kind of part of the answer. You can see why the 2000s is like a golden age for music because like it's music like this that kind of like brings a swallow to be a like dance music. with you side by side. <laughs> Lewis, I'll smack you for that. I'll, I'll, I'll stop. 
Um. Oh, I know this. Um. <laughs> wait, I know this person. It's the end of you and me. Okay, I know this um, one. What is a song called, though? Oh my gosh. Oh God, what is her I name? This one too, but the artist I'm not gonna get. I wanted to say that I heard this song before, but I can't lie, I don't think I have. This is one of those. Uh, oh, oh my God, I'm blanking out. What is her name? People. I, I can't. God. I can't believe that it. Really, like, took me I, back. I, do you know it? I guess. I, no, I do not. I've heard the song. I have no idea who it's by. Get out. I don't know the artist. Thank you. Get out by JoJo. Get I think it's JoJo. JoJo. It's I, I could be wrong. They, it's they one of probably the songs got it. Right. Has it in like parentheses? So it's Leave by JoJo. This is called Leave parentheses Get Out, and it's by JoJo. JoJo. Okay. I don't think I've heard this song before, but it's a really good song. I've heard of JoJo, but I've never, like, listened to her music. She is I so hope talented. She is okay, she, like, man. I'm she here. Pipes, I've heard like, some things queen. about JoJo was only 13 when the song was released, and some... she said she could relate to it because she knew what it was like to be disrespected in a relationship. At 13? I don't even know what it's like. I, I don't think I, I had spoken to a girl. Really? when I was 13. I don't know how she oh, could yeah. just be a kid. She was like oh, just starting it. her teen years and was already like, I know everything about boy troubles. Let me write a song about it. Man. Moving on. Avenging, oh avenge so, uh, uh, oh God, avenge blindfold. It's so much fun. The guitar is so good though. Yep. Avenge Sevenfold. Oh, seven Avenge, really Avenge Sevenfold. I would like love to headbang to that. Do you know this First one? time I heard no. the song no was idea. on. I have no idea who it is. I do not know it. This is Bat Country by Avenge Sevenfold. This is Bat Country. I first Country heard this song in this Saints is like Row. I've heard about these people. That's I don't first know who time. they are. I've seen them on t shirts. When I went to School of Rock and one of the shows, they had me learn this song and it was so hard. And that was one of the first songs that I learned. I first on listened, heard that song on uh, Saints Row 2, I believe. Next song. Oh, come on, 50. This is Candy Shop with Olivia. I'm trying to explain, baby, the best way I can. God, this song was like such a bop, but also such a parody. What's so funny this about is it? It's a funny song. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's a trip. My mom used to play this on the radio, but then sometimes yeah, when I was singing, she'd be like, no, What's so funny don't about it? It's kind of dirty. It's a classic. It's a great song. It's like it's like a vibe. Do you know it? It's Candy Tari. Shop. I don't think I know the artist. Candy Shop? Is this that Snoop Dogg song? 50 Cent. Candy Shop? This is Candy Shop by 50 Cent. It's Candy Tari. Shop. It's by 50 Baby Cent. Girl. It's, it's Candy Shop by 50 Cent featuring Olivia. Oh, okay. I at least I got the title right. Oh my gosh. I knew that. I just didn't, I didn't want to say it. I think he's cool. Some people really don't like him. But I don't care. I like 50 Cent. He's a part of my, my, my you, upbringing sis. as a I child. You, sis. I miss you. Next one. You too. Beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Oh my god. It's a beautiful day. I know this song too. Wow. Today is so good. This song just makes you feel good. Okay, who's the band, band Noah? You better know that band, though. Damn, I'm really digging that guitar in the back. Aw, I haven't heard this song in a while, too. Damn, that one just, like, it made my heart warm. Do you know this one? No. No. I don't know it. Beautiful Day by Coldplay. Beautiful Day by Bono's band. Beautiful Day by okay. YouTube. Okay, it's called Beautiful Day, it's by YouTube. This is Beautiful Day <laughs> by YouTube. There you go, YouTube. I'll give her, yeah, give her sure. that. I definitely went through a phase where At least I was she knew very Bono. into YouTube and I would listen to so much. They're really good, that I love good their song, music. Bro. Very nice song. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm really... Um... Oh God, what is this? Yeah, oh my god, what is his name? My mom would play this in the kitchen all the time. The song was like in tons of movies, I feel like. God, what is his name? Um, 
I could see like lighters like going like this like oh at a concert. God. Now I don't, I, I'm blanking out again. That's so weird to think this was like 2000s music. I still think it's like, it oh, it's like modern. modern day music. I know all these songs, but I don't know who they're by. Do you know this one? I do not know this one, no. You're Beautiful. I wouldn't know. You're Beautiful? Oh. Dave Matthews Band? You're Beautiful by a singer. James Your Blunt. Beautiful, like, James how? Blunt. Yeah, I forgot I his name. Know who that is. James Blunt. I've never heard his music. So actually, James Blunt said he wrote the song after seeing his ex-girlfriend with a new man on a train in the London Underground. He says this song isn't as romantic as people may think it is, and it's actually about a guy stalking a girl I know that. never have. Yeah, I did is. not know that. Dang. I have a whole different it's backstory sick. to it. That's so weird. At first, I thought that that's what it was. It was like kind of like a little romantic love song. And then I heard that that one part where he was like not being with her. I was like, wait, that kind of was like a little dark turn. That's creepy. That makes me uncomfortable. Because, you know, as women, that actually happens. And it's just, that makes me so sick. I don't know that song. <laughs> Last song. It's Britney. It's Britney, bitch. This is finally one, like, I'm confident I okay. Oh, okay, Will. I'm addicted to you, but you know that you're toxic. I know so for sure. Okay, Will, so you're touching yourself like that. That's a good song. I'm thinking I'll mess it up. Damn, man, that song really made me want to dance now, too. I do not know it, though, man. It's gonna Wait, he don't know that song? All right, do you know no, it? Toxic by Britney Spears. Toxic by Britney Spears. Toxic by Britney Spears? This one is Toxic by Britney Spears. It's Toxic by Britney Spears. This is called Toxic. Okay. And it's by wow. Britney Spears. Wow. Smack in the head. Wow. I feel like it's what it, Britney Spears is underappreciated in, for, for a lot of guys. Britney Spears like, was just one head. of those That's artists right. that oh, just right consistently the made great music. My parents don't like her at Word. all. They despise her, but is like she's my ghosty pleasure. But they're probably gonna see this. But sorry, parents, you guys know I love Britney Spears on the down low. <laughs> That's messed up. Well, no, it's not true because there's a couple uh, people that I like that my dad doesn't like or somebody else don't like. So, uh. We're gonna end it right there, y'all. So, yeah, they did somewhat good. Uh, Lewis, I'm gonna smack you upside your head. Uh, I, how you not? Britney Spears has a very distinguished voice, so when you hear her, you hear her, it's like, oh, that's Britney. Um, I can't believe I forgot James Blunt song, but uh, yeah, I know about that song. That yeah, it's not a it's not a very romantic song as everybody thought it'd be. It's, yeah, it's about a guy stalk. I remember when he talked about that. I remember when he uh, he he. I read it in an interview that he did. I think when he did it, he was in a he was in Entertainment Weekly, and I read it about that song. Cause remember that song used to be everywhere. Everybody was playing that song. Um, and I remember when um, he he first talked about it. And I was like, okay. He talked about his time in the military and everything like that. But then he started. He went into detail about what this song was about. Yeah, he saw his ex-girlfriend with another man, and he just, yeah, man, that 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 that's, that song is for stalkers. Sorry, uh, but yeah, guys, um, this was interesting. But I I can't believe Tori didn't know Fifty. No, did she say no? It wasn't Fifty. She said somebody else. She didn't couldn't remember. But. Um, it's good to see them at times. It's really good to see them. It's especially the ones that I love, the kids I love. You guys follow me. Y'all know the the ones that I like and who's on my my list. Uh, but the one that bothers me most is seeing my sis Brooklyn. Um, the fact that she's not around. You know, she she doesn't do them anymore. Like people, you guys would kept me informed on what was going on in Brooklyn. Like like. Whenever you put up the next one, because you're going to start noticing Brooklyn start disappearing from these vids. And yeah, it's, 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 um, I think she had some health issues and that's, that's sad to see her, you know. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be back with some more music from the 2000s. We'll jam. We'll rock. I'll try to keep my head and not blow my top. Uh, and I did pretty good. I didn't blow my top uh, at all. Uh, but, um, that's it. 
guys, um, I'll see you guys next time. Um, hit the like, up button, subscribe, do what you want to do. I'm, I'm drinking too much. <laughs> anyway, y'all, y'all take care.